once upon a time, Amadeus the wizard was waking up in a cottage high up in the mountains. <sighs> it's a bit nippy in here. Time to throw some snowballs. <laughs> Walking all alone in the wild outdoors like this makes me miss my old adventures, but not so much all the near-death experiences. Ah, my trustworthy box magic gets me up when feeling down. Oh, poor goat. I really should have sent this postcard earlier to Margaret and the children. And why isn't this nearest mailbox located any clone? Last night's avalanche laid waste to the bridge. Now how am I going to get to the mailbox? What an amazing goat! Thank you! For a moment there, I was sure he was going to ram me. Hmm, what's this? letter for me. The second of our enchanted heroes was Pontius the Knight. Just before the quest was... The derelict manor... Shame about the house. This must have been a snug little place back in the day. With tended fields full of everything good you'd want to eat in a pie. <laughs> hmm. It's a haunted old manor, but I cleverly chose to come here at noon. <laughs> Cursed undead nights don't look so scary in the daylight. How a good knight can turn into such a miserable villain, that I'll never understand. There's little you understand, fellow knight. But I was once much like you. What a strange dead fellow. Wounded in combat, I became useless. I was discharged from service. I became an embarrassment to other knights. Here I am, you blind me. That's no excuse for your evil doing. Sir, you can't stand light, sir. <laughs> Let's find some more light then. Our last hero was Zoya. Like Amadeus and Pontius, she was also enchanted with the mystical. While the whole... There were so many paintings up there, it'll take them weeks to even notice one of them is gone. Wait, what am I doing talking to myself?
We're already late for the masquerade. Isn't it supposed to last all night? Unlike the Merry Revelers, Zoya wasn't interested in the festival of masks. She had an engagement of another sort entirely. Now to find the doorbell. A pleasure. In exchange for the stolen painting, Zoya received a purse full of gold. Unexpectedly, however, the thief found her conscience weighing upon her. It was just a painting. Maybe the masquerade can cheer me up. Many letters sent by the Master Wizardess directed our three heroes to a rocky and wind-beaten heath. There they were to search for Celius, the mystic. But before the quest could begin... Zoya, I hope you've given up your crooked ways since we last met. Well, I haven't stolen anything in almost an hour at least. Maybe I'm already on my way to redemption. Arresting Zoya would make a rough start for our adventure. I think we're going to need all three of us to find this missing prince. Strange light. What's it for, then? What do you think about this quest? What's so urgent about getting this boy back to the Academy? Maybe they worry about him getting kidnapped. A prince could collect a handsome ransom. Or he could run into trouble out there in those old ruins. Oh! What a big bird that was. I hope it's not wizard hunting season for them. Smoke's not right, is it? They didn't look like normal animals at all. They were all wrong. There's magics at work. The wizards hope we find the prince somewhere on this heap. I wonder what brings him to this dreary place. If I was running away from school, I'd go somewhere with more interesting prospects. There's a ruined castle on this heap. Maybe he's headed there. It wasn't us. It was the wolves. We're only here to help, Mom. Sorry about the mess. Please don't kill us. How splendid. Our thanks.
and it's drizzling. I hope the wizards don't mind us returning a prince with the sniffles. It's just a few raindrops. We'll shrug them off. She's back. How gracious of you to help us again. Overgrown, long abandoned garden that once surrounded and protected a castle within. At least it stopped raining. And we're in a pretty garden. Oh, things are looking up. of enchantment must be keeping this fountain chilly. Vanishing monsters! Maybe the prince is summoning them to distract us? The wizards did say he knows magic. I guess this quest isn't going to be as straightforward as I thought it would be. Oh. Oh. Notice you've changed the colour of your box, Amadeus. Does it mean it's now more powerful than ever? I thought it might be fun to coordinate with my fine new wardrobe. In fact, I thought you'd notice the new coat before the box. Well, I guess it's an improvement from running around in sandals without any trousers. There were trousers, just very short ones. I remember. It's what all the wizards wore back in the day. Your Highness. Dreams? Subconscious manifestations? Or could be. Dreams? Ooh, those oh. would be the walls then. Explains why they all go poof.
Prince Celius. his bad dreams we're fighting, it's a good thing he's only afraid of wolves and spiders. Too true. Imagine if he'd had a phobia for dragons, then getting through this garden would be a real nightmare. It could be worse, though. Empty pie tins, mouldy potatoes. Let's stop talking about this. If this prince can summon fearsome nightmares, then we really shouldn't be adding any arrows into his quiver. Hmm. Maybe we'll be lucky and there'll be no other monsters to contend with. Amadeus's hopeful optimism was, of course, amusingly misplaced. It's the castle gates. At last, we've passed the garden. So, this is where our prince was headed. Having at last made their way through the thorny garden, our heroes found the remains of what had once been a majestic castle. An oh, look, a notice. Look at that portrait. It's young Sellers. This was his home. Someone or something took a swipe at his siblings. String? It's the wall. How curious. <laughs> I guess it's no might make exploring the ruins a bit more challenging. So we take a little dip here and there. It could be fine. I guess the castle has seen better days. Should say so. Looks abandoned to me. So what is the prince up to coming here? Castle stinks of fortune. Too bad everything of worth is already looted. It must have been a grand little palace back in its day. It's funny how we always find castles only when they're ruins. Yes, I propose we break in. I mean, discover a fully furnished castle on our next adventure. have to get into a nasty confrontation with the prince to make him come back with us. Maybe Zoya has it right. We can't just keep on asking him to come along and hope he does. Come on now. We just need to cheer him up a bit and everything will be as right as right. Ugh! 
Ah, la. Cornered by the heroes in the depths of the ruined castle, Prince Celius had broken his dream talisman. Ugh, oh, I'm pretty much ready to hate this boy. Celius was grounded to the waking world with the talisman, but once he destroyed it, he could enter this dreamland. It's the castle we just visited, but it's repaired. These seem to be some kind of dream portals. Is traveling through someone else's dream portal safe? Will the prince end up brain addled? How can the three of them? We happen to be enchanted with ancient amazing magics. You're intruding. Get out of my dreams. Any ideas how we could do that, Your Highness? <sighs> Didn't think so. As we're in a dream, is the dense and passable fog a metaphor for something? Could be repressed memories. Maybe something we can't face. Or maybe they had a serious gas leak in the castle. So what's this lift a metaphor for? Maybe it means we are plunging down into the dark depths of his consciousness. I'm glad it's the prince's nightmares we have to contend with. It'd be awful if they were mine. Hmm? There was a terrible old witch I was scared of when I was young. I still have nightmares about her. Stop! Stop talking about your dreams! It's not safe!
Amadeus. Come to Auntie Gretchen. My trousers! What lunacy is this? We're going to make some potions. Warm up the cauldron. Oh no. Last time I made potions, my hair turned white all over. What if it's worse than the last time? What if my hair falls out entirely? What if something else falls off? My toes? Or worse? <laughs> I could just light this up with a fireball. But I prefer to see you bumble about cluelessly. Get to work! Of course, Auntie. Of course. Just please don't take the conditions. Finally! But wait! Oh! Did I just face my fears and complete potions and come through it all stronger. How oh, very well done of me. The prince's dream had given the hero some insight to what was troubling young Celius. Once the dream ended, the heroes woke up at... Oh, how about we let the boy run? It's his life. And it's not like we're getting anything out of this little field trip, except a pat on the back from the wizards. Leave the boy alone? In a nighttime forest full of nightmares? And what if some innocent bystanders run into those monsters? Oh, look at the glowy stones. Must be some kind of ancient magic lingering in these ruins. Let's see what this magic can do. Amadeus was so scared of. She reminds me of something. You don't say. Oh, I really can't put my finger on who it was. Amadeus, how is Margaret? Ah. Hmm? Oh, oh. Business is booming, I hear. Must be enchanted.
Celius manages to conjure up all our nightmares. Then we'll face them like we did with your ma, Aunt Gretch. <laughs> the Prince can't conjure a single creature that can scare me. <laughs> Anyone help me? Hear that? We'd better get to it. The heroes followed the distant cry of help. It sounded like a friendly denizen of the forest. There's no more shouting. I hope they're all right up there. Let's get out of this cave and see what's going on. My money's on more night. Oh my goodness! Look at the mess in here. This badger dreams of evil hedgehogs? Well, they can be a bit... This must be the... I suppose we all... Now, now, we don't want to resort to thievery, do we? You might. I was only appreciating Mr. Badger's good taste in pies. Trust Ancelius to take care of his nightmares on his own. Not while he can't control his powers. And too bad his talisman was shattered. What well, we three can do to contain him? What if he magics up every nightmare of every single creature in these forests? Nightmares really went all the way hiding this journal. Well, it wouldn't be much of a nightmare, or a mild disturbance if they put it in the cave next door. <laughs> but we're not afraid of dark holes in the ground. So let's find that journal.
under a gnome somewhere in the garden. Ah, the journal. Hmm. Seems like it's a book on natural history. Heroes continued their pursuit of the Nightmare Prince, but the trail was growing cold. At least Celius chose to run off into a more welcoming part of these woods. Oh, a nice change of pace from rain and ruins. And the golden leaves remind me pleasantly of gold. Someone certainly has strange dreams. Oh, strange... I think of my shield really hard, and suddenly I get a spare one! How interesting. It must be a side effect of the wildly rampant dream magic roaming about the woods. Uh, wait. Didn't we just encounter evil hedgehogs in that badger's house? Are you saying we might be picking flowers for evil? Just because the badger has hedgehog nightmares doesn't make all hedgehogs evil.
Well, that red poppy was easy to find. Just two more flowers to go. evil badgers come from? They must be the hedgehog's nightmares. I guess the badger and the hedgehog aren't very close neighbours. The heroes took the hedgehog's advice and followed a path leading to the northern lakes. The prince was nowhere in sight. It What a nice little fellow. That seal is as dangerous as I am dainty. Side cottage would be cozy. Come 
monster of the depths. Oh, this must be the seal's nightmare. Let's help. Oh, it didn't like that. We haven't encountered nightmares quite like this. That might mean we're getting close to the prince. Aha! Thank you again, Mr. C. While it was common for the adventurers to encounter magical creatures that allowed them to bounce up and conquer steep cliffs, most seals, in fact, were and are not quite as magical. In fact, wise young adventurers normally restrain themselves from jumping on top of the from up here is amazing. Any sign of the prince? Can't see him anywhere down there, so up the hill we go. No, wait, we're supposed to be friends. You too! <laughs> What had begun as a simple quest to retrieve a missing prince was now turning into a much darker tale. Distressed by their last encounter with Celius. Drat. What do we do now? What's the point of looking for the prince if we'll only get into another fight with him? Instead of pursuing him, we should be looking for a remedy for his nightmare. Yes. As for what that might be, yes. not even the account. Come find me in these wilds, and I will help you with your quest. The muddy waters are speaking to us. And with such a charm. Ugh, just don't jump into any ponds after strange ladies. But they're offering help, and we could really use some. Why are these shadowy beasts all over the forest, even without Celius around? The Nightmare Prince's magic has drawn out fear and darkness from within all oh. the woodland creatures.
explains all the pipes around the bog. This place has been abandoned for quite some time. They did not stay for long. <laughs> wilderness in this state. The abandoned rubbish does ruin the mood of this otherwise charming marsh. Once I agree with Zoya. After this quest is done, oh. I'll go and hunt whoever left the marsh in this state and charge them with littering. Oh. Ah. Oh. Bones remind me of the time when all those skeletons came to life. Ah, oh. We were lucky back then that all the necromancy was limited to fairly small piles of bones. Although an epic fight against an undead dragon would have been a tale to remember. The fishy creature of the marshlands had surprised the heroes with her assistance. They had been given... Amadeus, can you tell us what's in the vial? Hmm. It's some kind of a glowy liquid. Obviously magical. As for heroes of Tri, come find my tree in the forest and I will help you. This is the most enchanting forest I've ever been in. I guess we're in for another fishing encounter. Oh, we'll go see the mermaid's brother. We'll know what to do. Aren't we being 
getting far too trustworthy with these spirits in the woods. They seem to have something up their sleeves. And well, I wouldn't have the slightest clue what to do with the prince even if we found it. Neither did the wizards, and their solution was to lock him in the Astral Academy dungeons. They probably meant it, but it turned out to be a big mistake. So, we bumble about and hope it turns out all right. Then again, we always do that. It's that bear again. Don't find us. What's our reason for helping this prince again? Heroes! Heroes help me! Surely you wouldn't want to be left to your own devices if you were cursed and all alone in the world? There are so few people in the kingdom who can even attempt to save Celius. With our extraordinary powers, we should at least try. Oh, besides, we'll help a lot of others. Once we get the prince to calm down, the nightmares will go away. Fine. Fair point. Me, look at that thing climb. <laughs> Give it a white hood, and it's just like Zoya. I want the bear to join us on our adventure. It's not quite as magical as we are. What if things get hairy or furry? Best let it stay in the woods. Hmm? The last of the woodland spirits the heroes were to meet lived in an enchanted... Why the treetops? Perhaps you could come down to us instead? <laughs> no problem, Mrs. Let's climb. I wish actual gardening was this easy. My thumb is usually all other colours but green.
I'm so relieved these forest spirits are offering to help us. But just as soon as we reach the treetops, that nice lady will complete the potion for us. And I guess then we'll make the prince drink it. With the nightmares gone, everything will be back to normal. And hurrah! <gasps> Let's just hope Celius doesn't come up with another new nightmare before that. The enchanted canopy was lovely and captivating. There was a foreboding sense of uneasiness in the air. The further up the heroes climbed, the air around them felt all the more oppressing. Especially so for Zoya the thief. Something is making my skin crawl. Is it all the pollen from the flowers? No, it's like this foreboding sense of dread. Ah, oh, I had that the just dark before my night. Oh, now that you meant My crown protects me! Oh. 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 Little monster, how dare you defile my crown! Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya pursued Celius again with renewed vigor, now in possession of a chance to help the lost prince. If the prince could be cured of his curse... The fairy potion looks like it's made of liquid light. Makes sense, as we seem to be fighting shadows. Now we just follow the trail of nightmares which should lead us to Celius. Oh, 
some strong winds ahead. How are we going to make Celis drink the potion? I guess we start by asking nicely. Or we could just tie him up before he summons anything else. I should carry Zoya. I'm not an invalid. We don't even have to tie him up to make him drink the potion. No scary red eyes or shadows either. I suppose he got tired of running. The heroes chased the vanishing prince into the dream portal. Before the prince had been pulled through, he declared the magic potion had fortified his powers of manifest. Astral Academy! 
It's only how to print. Hmm, this magnetic plate is almost as attracting as I am. When I was a student, the academy was such a delightful place to study in. And to sweep. It was also delightfully easy to break into. Is the angriest beam of light I've seen ever. You know, I don't think that was serious. It was a nightmare posing as the prince. I'm worried it was much cleverer than anything we've encountered so far. Then we need to find the real prince. Seen enough. Didn't he mention? Oh, <laughs> you're right. But that's just a myth. Oh, oh, please, we know what you are. Where's Celius? I am Prince Celius. Is good, right? We might find the dungeons. I'm worried about that nightmare that looks like Celius. He'll be down there as well. Nothing a few arrows can't fix. <laughs> like the Academy Dungeons. After the Prince's nightmare ended, the heroes found themselves back in the snow-covered mountains. It seemed unlikely that the Prince and his strange... Oh, tombs. <laughs> It'll be dark and spooky down there. We're not... Jumping in the shadows now, are we? You can't harm me, heroes, for I am no nightmare. 
I am part of Prince Celis. I am the shadow of his soul. Whatever you do to me will affect him also. Put away your swords and arrows and boxes, unless you want this boy to die. Ugh, that does dampen my plan to put an arrow through your neck. Lonely prince to you, but you'll follow him to the ends of the world, hmm? Aren't there goats and orphans and poor peasants out there you'd rather be helping? Leave the prince to me, and I'll let you go unharmed, and we'll all live happily ever after. Well, Celius is poor, without parents, and he's about as obstinate as a goat, so I don't know if there's that much difference. Why did you bring the prince down here? Down here in the dark, he will turn into a shadow, and I will become the prince instead. I will have no qualms using our magic powers, but I will be the king. Heroes now needed to encourage Celius to fight his own. This new shadow? That's a dangerous spell. It's half shadow and half ice. Celius, you needn't fight us. But a peaceful resolution seemed now impossible. Despite all that, I'm still not dead. 
Shall we go another round? I have all the time in the world. You foolish boy. Your light cannot harm me. The light isn't for you. It's for me. No, wait! Don't take me back! You'll regret this! Think how you'll have to guard me day and night! I'll poison your thoughts! Nothing worse than what you've already put me through. Well, thank you for returning me to my imprisoned stay at the Astral Academy. Oh, I'm sure they'll be much more lenient with how much you learned during this journey. Yes, maybe they'll only lock me up at night. Sounds like progress to me. I wish I could reward you all somehow, but I don't have anything. Don't worry about it. Good luck. What an adventure. It was nice to be of help to someone. Not just, you know... Skeleton deconstruction. I see what you mean. And I agree. Lifting someone up instead of putting down goblins. Oh, that reminds me. I have a pie-eating contest to get to. Sounds like we're ready to head our own ways again. Who knows what kind of trouble will find us next. Maybe an army of enraged, enchanted hogs. No, I think those already got taken care of. Until we meet again, 